Hi, my name is Tim Romer, and I'm an executive director and strategic counselor here at APCO Worldwide. I've also been uh, an ambassador to India and served on the 9-11 Commission as well as a member of Congress on the Intelligence Committee. And the three things that I'd like you to think about would be what three things is President-elect Trump likely to face as flashpoints or be woken up with at a 3 a.m. phone call. First of all, rather than talking about this in terms of nation states, it would be easy to talk about North Korean threat or the Syrian war. Let's talk about transnational threats. First of them being terrorism or the transformation of ISIS from the Middle East to different parts of the world as they disperse. We will probably see uh, a very, very big dislocation of Al-Qaeda and ISIS and ISIL uh, coming out of Syria and Iraq, and they may go to different parts of the Middle East or North Africa or even Europe. They certainly are going to try to get into the United States. So this could be a direct threat to the United States homeland and something that uh, President-elect Trump is, I'm certain, thinking about now. Uh, with General Mattis and trying to think through how this will impact his first four years in office. Secondly, in addition to terrorism and the transformation of ISIL, what about uh, the issue of cybersecurity? We certainly saw some influence from overseas on our election that Congress is now going to look at. We also see constantly reports coming out from think tanks across Washington about how likely it is that the United States is going to get hit by a cyber attack at some point. Banks, electrical system, our financial system. How will this wake him up and what will he do about this and how is he planning this with his transition team? And I think the third thing will probably be an interesting one. One thinking outside the box, trade. Now trade's not likely to usually get somebody to wake up a president at 3 a.m. But what if trade, when we're talking about new paradigm shifts, new sanctions, new tariffs, what about that impacting something like the South China Sea or other critical national security issues that escalates a response from one country to another? And therefore, the trade dialogue ignites uh, problems in, in uh, uh, a confluence of other actors or actions. Those are three things that we can all think about and I'm sure President-elect Trump will be thinking about in the weeks and months to come.